This noise might not be going down too well with a local resident, but I'm totally okay with it because this is definitely a habit I've got into here in Mexico buying products such as avocado from the street. And you know, avocados have become a bit of a hipster food in places like Western Europe. But in Mexico, you just buy them from car boots. Anyway, if you don't know, I'm Paul, an English guy, showing you Mexico through my eyes. Now, in my last video, I told you all about how Mexico has changed me. And today, I want to continue with this theme and share with you some of the Mexican habits that I've picked up whilst living here. And as many of you know, I was back in England over Christmas and the New Year. And when I was there, there were moments when I realized I had picked up some habits that are far less common in England. I found myself doing things that I've never had a problem with before. So today, you're going to discover all about my new Mexican habits. And the first Mexican habit I've picked up is all about going to the bakery. Now, just in front of me over there is a typical Mexico City bakery. And I know people all over the world go to bakeries, right? But actually, Mexican bakeries and the culture around bread, sweet bread, and all of that kind of stuff is very different to what I was used to. And I have picked up some new habits. Firstly, let's talk about when people go to bakeries in Mexico. Well, that's pretty much all day, but I've noticed even in the evening, bakeries can be busy places. And in the UK, unlike Mexico, people don't go to bakeries at 8 p.m. at night, and bakeries are closed then anyway. But in Mexico City, even if you don't go out to the bakery at night, the bakery will instead come to the corner of your street because a man will appear on a bike known as a panadero, or as I like to call him, the pan man, and he makes this sound. Yes, many true Mexico subscribers will have seen that before. And yeah, a Mexican habit I now have is buying sweet bread in the evenings. And my local pan man always looking to upsell, even knows my tastes and how to tempt me. But that's not it. I've also picked up another habit. Now, I'm holding, as many of you know, what is known as a concha here in Mexico. And this pan dulce sweet bread really is part of Mexican daily life. And you know what? I really do love to enjoy a soft, sweet and delicious concha. And they come in different colors too. Some are white, some are brown, some are in between. And I used to enjoy eating these things in a standard way, one bite at a time. But something changed. I now find myself peeling and eating the sugary sweet top layer off my conchas. I do it on autopilot without thinking. Maybe some of you do it too. the Pumas training ground guys, the Liga MX team. It's just on the other side of that fence behind me, below a massive cliff face. And I had no idea it was over there. I just came up to this area for the view of Mount Ajusco, which you can also see in the background. Anyway, the next Mexican habit I've picked up during my time here is one which at first was a culture shock. Many Mexicans, but definitely not all, are more relaxed about time in their social life. By the way, if you don't know, in professional life, Mexicans are generally a lot stricter with time. But socially, Mexican time is a lot more flexible, shall we say. Now, in places like the UK, people can be so sensitive about time that they often even arrive earlier to appointments. And in a previous video from a while ago where I talk about culture shock, I pretty much said how I'm usually the one waiting for my Mexican friends to arrive. It's frustrating, but you know what? Since that video, a few close Mexican friends have told me 
Paul, listen to me. You are no longer this totally punctual English guy waiting on the Mexican. No way. There's been times when I've been late and you were even later. Now, although I don't think I'm as relaxed about time as many Mexicans are, I do accept that these days I have got into a more relaxed time habit. And I thought about this topic when I was in England over Christmas because something happened. Let me tell you a story. Well, I was with my parents and my dear mum asked me, shall we leave to the supermarket soon? And I replied casually, sure, in five minutes is good, mum. And she replied, okie dokie. And after exactly five minutes, and I mean exactly maybe some seconds before actually, my mum was already in the car expecting me there too. But of course, I was still nowhere near ready. I think I was still in my underpants and I didn't even recognize there was a problem, but obviously there was. Now, up until that point in my life, that had never happened. Me and my mum have always been in perfect harmony with time. And at that moment, I realized that I had picked up a very Mexican habit. Check this out. I'm just by the UNAM University campus and I've stumbled upon a club that meets every week to practice pre-Hispanic dancing, which also has a cooler name, Danza Azteca. Pretty awesome. And you can still see them behind me there on the grass. And now let's talk about some more habits I've picked up in Mexico, specifically related to food. And I'm going to go through them quite quick because most of you watching will already know what many of my food habits are. But if you're new to True Mexico, my videos pretty much always have some Mexican food. Watch a few more and you'll soon realize. So first, the obvious one, salsa. I've totally got into the habit of adding salsa to my tacos, quesadillas, and pretty much everything else. I just do it without thinking. It's an autopilot thing. Next, limes, which are known as limones here in Mexico. Now, they never really used to be a big part of my life. And researching this video, I googled limes in English cooking to remind myself of my former relationship with limes. And the very first thing a BBC food article told me about limes is that it can be squeezed into cocktails. And yeah, limes in the UK are definitely associated with alcoholic drinks. However, these days I have a different relationship with limes. Like the majority of Mexicans, I've got into the habit of squeezing limes into my food every single day. And my right hand, again an autopilot, is always instinctively looking for limes when I sit down and eat. And let me tell you another food habit I've picked up, which I think is very Mexican. Now let me explain. I've always pretty much associated the taste of breakfast with, of course, an English breakfast. However, the cooked breakfast here in Mexico is very different. Yes, you find things that are similar like eggs, bacon rashes, etc., but it's not the same. Now, traditionally, just like the English eat English breakfast, the Mexicans eat chilaquiles. And if you're from Mexico City, you do something that is weird for many Mexicans. You eat torta de chilaquiles, like I am in this photo in a previous video from ages ago. Now, in my early days in Mexico, chilaquiles for breakfast was not tempting at all. Spicy salsa and fried corn tortillas was a non-option. These days, however, I love it for breakfast. And like many Mexicans, on a lazy Sunday morning, I find myself with that urge to eat some chilaquiles. Well, this video is about to end, but before you click away, 
please consider supporting me on Patreon. For me to continue with True Mexico and make it even better, I really do need more pesos in my direction. It would be a sad day if I ever had to stop this. And for just $1 a month, you'll get even more content like quick 15 second videos for my daily life. And thank you to my nearly 100 patrons. Anyway, don't forget to like, share and comment. And if this is your first time here, why not click on one of my videos on the screen to watch more? I hope you subscribe. So I'm Paul, this is True Mexico. Hasta luego.